Shabbat Shalom. In an attempt to understand this passage of Torah, this difficult passage, the rabbis often employ a play on words, likening the Hebrew word metzorah to motzi shemra, one who brings forth evil. We must be vigilant in keeping gossip and slander out of our lives, our homes, and our communities. When we don't, the infection escalates into an epidemic, a plague that becomes a rash on society and cannot be contained. Since the temple was destroyed, all of Israel has taken the responsibility on for priesthood. As a nation of priests, we all have to be holy quarantine officers, spending our lives fueling an affliction, as well as attempting to control the disease. All the while, we have the power to eradicate slander and gossip because our tongues always remain within our control. Metzorah also talks about what happens when a plague affects a house. It's not an easy task to accomplish what Metzorah requires of those living in a house with Sara'at, an eruptive plague that manifests itself on the walls of the house. Learning that your house is unclean and being ordered to have it cleared is upsetting in so many ways. Today, we can often identify the source of such uncleanliness as climatic or geographic issues. We can hire an exterminator to clean our houses. Metzora, however, assumes that the plague in a house is precisely unholy because of what's happening within the house. The tzara'at of the house is merely a reflection of what's happening within the walls. A house returns to cleanliness is accomplished through a detailed procedure. According to the Talmud, the actual case of a house with Sara'at never happened. We can learn to think about the holiness of our homes, the ones in which we live and pray and study. We can learn to evaluate our behavior. We can learn that sometimes it's necessary to clean out the clutter, to search for the holiness in all of our lives. Shabbat Shalom.